you guys it's valley Von the perfume don back at you with another fragrance video welcome to my channel new subscribers thanks so much for joining my perfume mafia love you guys much love to you of course on this channel it's not only fragrance we do diys we do beauty routines if you want to know how to get glowy fresh skin i have a video for that all that type of stuff but mostly fragrance because i am a frag head and welcome to the fragrance community everyone that's just starting your collection you're in the place to be because you're going to learn about different fragrances so if you like smelling good if you love smelling good you're in the right place and if you're just joining us go ahead subscribe like this video if you like this video how would I know that you like this video if you will not like this video? So let's go ahead and get into this video today. So I saw that this was actually, I think, done by either Rebecca or done by Cheryl. Um, I think it's Shirley, girl. I'm sorry. She's so amazing. I'll link all the information below, but I know you're already following them because you're in the gang. You're in the cult of fragrance lovers. But they started this video of ranking like the most popular fragrances or just going through the list, which is what I'm going to do. I, I grabbed 10 of my most popular fragrances in my collection i wanted to go through them and see and like let you guys know are they worth the hype because i know you see them all the time they're super popular they're freaking famous in the frag community so you're probably thinking do i need to get them do i need to add them to my collection are they really good what are your thoughts so i'm going to let you know a brief synopsis today about how i feel about these fragrances and if you want a more in-depth fragrance review of any of these drop them below and i'll try to get that out to you okay this video so the first one in my collection that i feel like is super super popular is going to be la vie belle the iconic by lancome this is so well known i don't even know when it came out to be quite honest i want to say like 20 2010s maybe maybe a little bit earlier but the face of this ad campaign was julia roberts so it's all about the classic beauty classic beauty effortless beauty all about woman all about being a woman femininity with a little bit something more it has some depth to it so the notes in this fragrance that really stand out are going to be floral components i think it has some patchouli maybe some vanilla so it's definitely like a sweet element when you spray it, when it dries down. But when you first spray, you're going to get like a bunches of flowers and it has a spiciness to it as well. There's tons of notes in here and it's definitely its own concoction. And there's another one that I'm going to show you guys today that I feel like smells very similar. Sorry, I had to turn the freaking air off. I already have the air on, you guys. You know what I have the air set to? 80 I have the air set to 80 so it could be cold enough to be 80 in here because it's naturally 86 in here it's burning up in here that's why i'm dressed like this i i can't believe what happened so fast like i miss the colder days already man it, i think it's gonna get so freaking hot because what is it only may oh my gosh anyways back to this fragrance so yeah so it has the gourmand element it has the floral component and it has some depth in there as well a little bit spiciness but it's definitely a woman's fragrance now for the actual scent i do think it's very beautiful i think it's very interesting in the sense well when it first came out now there's a lot of like dupes of it pretty much but when it first came out i think it was very interesting and it's exactly what women wanted something that had some depth to it but still very feminine very girly not very masculine but the spiciness is really what makes it have great performance and great longevity which is what you look for in a fragrance. And I think that's the major draw of this one. I usually reach for this one when I know I'm gonna be out all day, when I have several events to go to, usually professional events, because this fragrance has that sophistication and that air about it. But this one definitely has great performance. And I'm talking about, there's been a, a few flankers of it. If you don't know what flankers means, go ahead, check out my fragrance glossary videos. I have two up and you can get a little bit more familiar with the terms that I'm going to be using in these videos. But yeah, so this is the OG. This is the Eau de Parfum. And I think the performance is really, really stellar. I think it's strong. I think it's a powerhouse. It has sillage. It has a presence when you walk into a room people are going to smell this now the only thing is that you're not going to be the only person rocking this scent because it's so freaking iconic like people i think it's one of the top sellers in the world so no matter where you travel in the world someone's going to be rocking this scent it's sold all the time i want to say it's in the top 10 in the world most sold fragrances of course behind chanel number no. five but it's very popular but do i think it's worth the hype the fact that you can get so many really good deals on it now because it's been out so long and if I find if you get a good deal, even if you pay the full price, I do think it's worth the hype 
because it is such a beautiful scent i think it could work for a lot of different ages i mean if you're a grown woman on up um i think like 25 all the way up to 105 would really like to wear this fragrance and the performance is really 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 stellar so for that reason yeah it is worth the hype now i know other people say don't buy it because everyone's wearing it but rock what you like i don't think it's the most different on everyone but i think it performs differently and if this one matches your body chemistry very well and it performs well and you like how it smells definitely go for it and i do think this one is worth the hype the next one that we're going to go to into is going to be a celebrity scent this is britney spears fantasy okay you guys now i always knew about this scent of course being a millennial i always knew about this fragrance however i purchased purchased it for the first time last year is it last year earlier this year or last year that's the first time i actually purchased it and had it a part of my personal collection now this is the quintessential fruity sweet girly scent it's perfect for teens just as it's marketed most celebrity scents are marketed to teens but this is like perfect for a young girl perfect for a teen it's got that cupcake note in there totally smells super sweet and it also smells like fruit very fruity juicy when you first spray it and then the cupcake in there is just so much fun and it's just like a gourmand element but not too heavy not too bogged down but it's a very fun playful scent performance is actually not bad it's not bad for it to be super affordable again it's been out for a very long time maybe pushing 20 years so you can find some really really good deals on it and if you find a really really good deal on it it's going to be worth it this is an everyday scent you could rock it anywhere all the time i think that people are very familiar with it so it's not going to be something that's really intrusive or something that's going to bother people i think they're used to this scent and it's not like super unique but it's definitely a scent that's a crowd pleaser um the performance again is not bad i get about three hours to four hours on this drawn right here and that's not bad because you can again find it for like 10 bucks don't pay any more than 20 bucks for this i think i haven't seen it anywhere for more than 20 bucks but it's a really great fragrance to just pop in the bag have on the go and again it works for quite a few different occasions maybe like school work um it works very well for the office i think but nighttime you know it's not really a nighttime scent great for daytime casual but for that reason i think it is worth the hype viva la juicy go couture by juicy couture uh oh now this is one of those fragrances i have a bad habit of picking up fragrances by their top like i don't know i just like to do that but this is one in most juicy couture bottles you cannot now getting into the fragrance this is a very sappy syrupy sweet scent this is purely a gourmand scent you don't really get much more than gourmand from this fragrance very caramel like it smells like caramel something's a little bit salted about this to me it doesn't say that in there in the notes or anything but to me it just smells like salted caramel it makes me want to eat salted caramel so super sweet it's a gorgeous bottle and it's definitely something i think all ages would rock again uh, i think this is marketed more so to teens and young women however i rock it and i think more mature women will like it as well but you have to really like sweet 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 nothing but sweet fragrances i know a lot i've heard a lot of people in the fragrance community say that they don't like that kind of thing they don't like to smell edible run from this scent this smells straight up like caramel i don't even get any of the other supporting notes or anything in this scent now the other portion is the performance the performance is horrendous on this john right here it has no performance you're gonna have to respray this every hour for me in my body chemistry this has no performance it's a heck of a lot of fun when you first spray it and people are gonna say you smell amazing but it's quickly going to fade and the side note this looks like a ring pop right that looks like a ring pop now i'm hungry anyways yeah the performance is not good at all and is it affordable it's more affordable than most designer scents i think you can find this for like 70 60 or something like that bucks um but for that range i don't i feel like it should at least get you like three to four hours like this one it's not going to get you la via bell of course that lasts all day this is the powerhouse but for the fact that this performance is just so bad like i just sprayed it right now and i just can't smell it anymore so yeah it just i would say it's not worth the hype unfortunately i love it and if you i would repurchase this i love it but no it's not worth the hype and i wish i could find it for cheaper and there are cheaper alternatives and if you want me to do a video on cheaper alternatives to this fragrance let me know and i can do that but this one 
Yeah, it smells great, but the performance, not there. Not worth the hype. Sorry. Viva la Juicy Go Couture. Now, they have some other fragrances that are worth the hype that I actually want to add to my collection. And they're on my list right now. Okay, the next one is going to be from Dun 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 Tom Ford. This is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Okay, this is so freaking well known. And I think this is like made for women. However, a lot of men rock this fragrance as well. It definitely can go either way. It's definitely a very spicy fragrance. There's two orchid scents that they have in there that's going to be one that's manufactured, a synthetic one, and then one that's like a legitimate orchid scent. So this is a spicy, very deep, floral, woody, so very sexy, very alluring, and you definitely have to have some presence. A very mature scent. Great for evening. Eh, work? I don't know. I don't know if I would wear this to work because it's so freaking strong. It's definitely super yeah, it's, it's super strong. Now, this fragrance, the performance, it varies. I've heard people say that this has no performance on them. I think this has a very strong performance, and it's probably because I don't like it the most, unfortunately. And whenever there's a scent that you don't really like the most, you're like, oh, my God, I still smell it. I still smell it. I still smell it. But on me, this actually has really good performance. And I really do think that the scent is super sexy. It's not usually my scent, but it is super sexy, and I would love to smell this on someone else. So for that reason... I would have to say this is worth the hype. The fact that it has such performance and it's very nice, it's a very complex scent, so you don't have to like do that thing of like when you pair two scents together just to add some complexity, some depth. You don't have to do that and you don't have to spray too much. So it, even though Tom Ford fragrances are, I think, very expensive, this one is on the other side of their expensive fragrances. It's not like Lost Cherry expensive. It's not like $320. But it is about a hundred dollar, hundred seventy five, I think, with some change, maybe. But for that reason, I think it is worth the hype. This is going to be a good performance, and it smells very luxurious. It smells very rich. It doesn't smell cheap at all. No one's going to say you smell cheap when you wear this scent. So it's good that if you're going to spend your money on something, at least you can smell like you did. And for that reason, I think it is worth the hype. And the packaging's nice. You know, I'm a packaging girl. Do you guys comment below? Also comment below if you disagree or what you think about my list. Let me know. What do you think? I want to hear from you. Do you guys think I have it going right or do you think I'm completely wrong? The next one that we have is going to be another celebrity scent. This is the iconic. Oh my God. This actually won. Oh my God. I hate one. Oh, I cannot stand when hair gets on the lip gloss, baby. Boo. But this is Ariana Grande Cloud. You guys told me I should take it out the, um, Take it out the box and take it out of this and now actually wear it some more. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, my God. Did I just break the box? Keep it in the box. Anyways, this is Ariana Grande Cloud. I think this came out maybe two years ago. I don't know. But this is the third, like, legitimate in her fragrance line, I want to say. I know that there's Sweet Like Candy. There is Ari. Love Ari. There is Oh my God, I always say moonshine. It's not moonshine. Moonlight, I believe. And then it's this one. And then after that, she came out with the Thank You Next. Now, there were some other special editions like the Frankie and like the Holiday Edition, I think. The Red Bottle, Sweet Like Candy, maybe some other ones. But these are like the mainstays in her collection. So this is the one that came out right before Thank You Next. Now, this one, as soon as people smelled it, they said that it was a complete dupe, a ripoff for the, oh my God, also ever so popular, Maison Fra oh God, what's his name? Lord, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Sorry, sir, I always butcher your name, but you know, you doing your thing, okay? I know your name. But anyways, his Baccarat Rouge 540, very nice feminine. Actually, a lot of men like that scent too. I'm shocked. But you know, fragrance has no gender, whatever. But anyways, it's a very nice, elegant, sweet kind of a scent sweet floral delicate very lush and as soon as people smelled this fragrance they said that it was a dupe for it now i smelled this fragrance first and then i ran to my local neiman's to go smell the baccarat rouge 540 which is a pretty price tag i want to say it's what 
$540 probably, <laughs> shoot, maybe that's where they got the name. But anyways, this one is not anywhere near that price tag. It's about 60 bucks. I got a half of that special deal that Kohl's. That's why you guys need to be subscribed so I can let you guys know whenever I find an amazing deal. But I got this for like $30, so that's even better. But anyways, when I smell this fragrance, I think it is a complete dupe of the Francis Kirk Dijon Baccarat Rouge. 540. Now, this fragrance smells like lavender, but it definitely smells light, fluffy, sweet cloud type scent. Oh God, here, you know what? I just can never, there we go. Is it like, let me see, is it because you, you, you gotta twist it to the side and then get it out of there? I, I just don't know the formula. How do you get this thing out of there? Jeez. Anyways, great scent. I really like it. It took some time to grow on me. I didn't always like this fragrance, but the more I smell it, the more I'm like, heck yeah. It is. It is on the same accord as the Baccarat Rouge 540. Almost like a sugary, light, sugary cloud. Very light and fluffy, sweet scent. It's not too bogged down. It's not syrupy like the Viva La Juicy Caramel. It's a light, fluffy, airy type scent. But yeah, I actually think this is very similar to another high-end fragrance that I might do a video about but for that reason all that I said the performance is actually the performance is decent the performance is decent this is one of the scents I think before it depends on your body chemistry or how long it's going to last on you but I think the performance is decent with this scent and for that reason I'm gonna say it is worth the hype it is worth the hype go check this out if you like how that sounds if you like almost like it has a clean element I think that's the lavender in there but it has a clean element to a sweet scent so Great for summer, great for spring, summer. I'm thirsty. School of Affluence. And she said in her video, it's all about leveling up and being a boss chick and being gorgeous and all that type of stuff and making yourself desirable and just making sure you're a baddie in every phrase, in every phase of your life. But one time she said in her videos that it is unladylike to drink from a water bottle. She said you need to actually take the water and pour it in a glass to make sure that you're always exuding elegance and i was like oh my god i always drink from the bottle oops i'll work on it the next one that we have is going to be i'm gonna say juicy bloom juicy bloom gucci bloom gucci bloom iconic very quickly like this came out and this just caught waves like people just really loved this scent like seriously oh my god you know what guys i'm having a flashback that man really gave me PTSD. And he freaking smelled so bad. Smelled so bad. Like seriously. I was like running, running away. He didn't even have to be around me really. It just like when he would walk by, his scent was like mildew and crust and crud. It smelled so bad. I was like, Lord, please bless this man with soap and water. I pray to God he's not going through a situation to where he doesn't have those things because he needs it. And I'm sitting here thinking about all these beautiful scents. And that literally that thought and that scent came back to me. I could smell it again. Wow. Anyways, back to this thing. God bless that man. I'm not trying to you know, make fun of anybody, but it literally has scarred me. Okay, back to the Gucci Bloom. Now, when this came out, it definitely caught waves. It caught waves. Like, people really love this. I think it's the packaging. I think people really were drawn to the packaging because this matted out packaging, nude. Now, I don't, I love how it looks, but it just sucks the fact that you can't know how much you have left. But God, it does look so nice on a vanity. Sleek, minimalist, gorgeous. It has that almost like the millennial pink that type of color. When this came out, people freaking loved it. Now, I love the new flanker more so, the one in the red bottle, because that is like a juicy candy tuberose type scent. But this one is more of like a flower market. Every flower in the world is at this market, and it just smells lovely. It smells freaking lovely. It smells like a wedding day, to be quite honest. Now, I think this one has jasmine in there because it kind of, kind of, it has a lot of, a little like a pee pee kind of has a pee pee note unfortunately sometimes jasmine could smell a little bit like pee pee when you mix it with certain things and this one has that and that's what how it smells on me and for that reason and for the reason that i don't think the performance is the best on my body chemistry it doesn't last the best and it also turns like jasmine just turns pee pee on me unfortunately i don't know what it is about me jasmine don't like me and i don't like her neither 
But anyways, this scent, for that reason, I have to say it's not worth the hype. Unless you're buying it purely for the packaging because I know there's so many other better floral fragrances, floral fragrances that smell like freaking blooming flower markets. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Flower market. Maison Martin Margiela flower market. That's what I'm talking about. But anyways, oh, and another one that I just uh, purchased that I can't wait to share with you guys. They both smell better than this one to me on my body chemistry. So for that reason, I'm going to have to say it's not worth the hype. Kind of old now. About 10 years ago or something like this, this was like ruling the world. And this is C by Giorgio Armani. This is a very sophisticated, elegant, sweet scent. Now, this one absolutely reminds me of La Via Belle. Like, if you like scents that smell like this, you will absolutely love this. This has a very interesting note in there, and it's Ambroxan. Ambroxan adds depth to fragrances. It's almost like amber. It adds, like, some cashmere comfy elements to it, but a complexity that's almost like a little bit mineral at the same time. Like, it smells very synthetic, but it also helps fragrances last for quite some time. So this has the sweetness, the complexity, and some depth to it. Probably has some vanilla or some benzoin as well in there. I don't know, but it definitely has those elements. It's very deep, um, but feminine and womanly at the same time. It very much so reminds me of La Vie A Belle. Now, the performance on this is actually really good. I think the performance on this is actually... Really, I'm going to hide my thing right there. I think the performance on this is actually really good. I think it's good for all day, all night. It's one of those really good transitional scents. I think it's great for all seasons. And I think it's really good for like your first grown woman scent. If you're a young woman, you're looking for your first grown woman scent. This is a really good one. You're going to have to mature into it because again, it does have that depth in there. But it has great performance. It's interesting. It's nice. It's sexy. It's, I think it's a crowd pleaser. I think people really like this on you. For that reason, I do think it's worth the hype. Since it has been out for so long, I think you can get a good deal on it too. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes tuned. And since it has great performance, great sillage, and it's well done, you're not going to have to use that much anyway. So you can go with the smaller bottle. You're not going to have to overspray. Check it out. Giorgio Armani C. It's not my favorite though from the range. They have some other ones. I love C Fiori a little bit more. But hey, what do you do? Hey, oh my God. The iconic, the legendary. Prada candy okay I got the largest bottle and let me tell you this is one of those scents that I didn't like for quite some time I was like oh everyone likes that I was just being I was being extra because everyone would come into the stores and they would go straight they would be lying to Prada candy and I'm like why Prada candy all these fragrances in here all you guys want Prada candy and even though a lot of people think that only little girls like to smell sweet that's not true women of all ages women from their 20s on up to their 70s would go for this fragrance. That's why you know you can wear what you want when you want. And I think that the depth in there, it's like very syrupy, but... Oh, wait, this is the big one, so I just spray it like that. The uh, smaller ones, you have to take the top off, but this is the full size, so you just spray the nozzle like this. Prada candy, yeah. It smells like straight-up caramel, but there's also like a very... On me, a waxy element, and I think it's the benzoin in there. Sometimes benzoin can turn a little bit waxy. It almost smell like rocks a little bit. Sorry, I don't know if I'm offending anyone. It smells like rocks a little bit, but it does smell sweet to me. And it has really, really good performance. Like, I like to spray my extensions, my wigs, and all of my fake hair with this stuff. Because whenever I'm going out, because it smells really good and it really holds on to it. It does have good performance, I think. I love to rock this in the winter especially because you need something that's going to splice through the cold weather. So for that reason, I do think that this is worth the hype because it has a good performance. It's very, it's a strong scent to me. Um, it can be overpowering actually in some instances, but it's also a crowd pleaser. And I do think it's a little bit on the pricier side of designer scents. I think it's going like a hundred dollars or so if you're going to get the full bottle, but I do think it's, it's really good. And I do think that product candy is worth the hype. The next one that we have is going to be Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Just take a moment and appreciate this bottle. Now, that sh I didn't curse. I did not curse. <laughs> now, I was about to say, and she did that with this bottle. This is a smaller one, so you're going to have to take off the shoe. You got to take off the shoe to actually be able to spray the nozzle. 
Now in the main one, in the real one, you just push on the back and you spray it that way. But this is the little bottle one. I think it's the 1.6 fluid ounce or one fluid ounce or something like that. But it's so cute. It's the iconic stiletto bottle. If you have a second, check out the men's version and that's a lightning bolt. And I think that's really cool. I think it's called Bad Boy or something like that. On to the scent. The scent is going to be, I think, suitable for evening wear. It definitely reminds me of a very power woman. There's something in here that's very spicy, very floral, with a little bit of sweet, but definitely spicy floral to me. Um, the performance is not there. The performance is not there for me. Unfortunately, because I know a lot of people, I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but I know a lot of people actually do really like the scent. So if you really like it, you will want it to stay on you but it doesn't stay on me. Um, I'm happy about it because I'm not huge into the scent. I think it's only for evening and I don't go out in the evening that much. I don't think it's a daytime scent and that's why I'm not huge into it. But for that reason, unless you just want this little pretty thing on your vanity, I don't think it's worth the hype. That's just how I feel. Sorry. Sorry, good girls and bad boys. The Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This is an Eau de Toilette. Okay. I picked this up for my birthday this year um because you guys told me you really really liked it iconic bottle looks like freaking snow white bottle i don't know it just makes me think of like a fairy tale when i see this like a poison apple makes me think of a poison apple maybe that's what they were going for too hypnotic poison but there's so many in this range there's pure poison there's what's the other one actual poison this is actually a flanker of the og poison that came out in like the 80s this is a sweeter fresher interpretation for younger girls is what they're trying to gear this towards because the og poison is just not for young girls at all but yeah so on to the scent definitely sweet i don't know if it has like vanilla in there probably seems like every freaking scent has vanilla in there but it smells like a sugared vanilla cookie to me it definitely smells like a sugar vanilla cookie to me. A lot of people say that this has a dry down of Play-Doh. I smell it. It definitely smells like Play-Doh and it smells like clay. Um, but since it's a de toilette, it's reflected in the scent that it doesn't last the longest. It doesn't last the longest. And if you want something that's light and sugary and like a cookie, then there's other things that you can go for instead. And so for that reason, I don't think that it's worth the hype. And this is one of the ones that I would not repurchase in my collection. But that's how I feel about those fragrances. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, comment below. Let me know your thoughts and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.